Hello, this is Russ with the Salt Lake City Bicycle Collective, um, online at www.slc.org. And I'm here today on behalf of Expert Village, and we're going to be showing you how to install some shift cables. Um, there's two different kind of cables out there. One is shift and one is break. Um, shift cables are linear and they go straight in and out and a brake cable is more of a coiled like a spring design so you want to make sure that you're using the, one, the right one. Um, after I have the shift cable and it's all set up what I want to do is make sure that I have a housing here to cover the distance from the shifter to the bike frame which would be on this side and you want to give enough room so that when you turn it that cable is not going to get all binded up. What you're going to do is get a new shift cable and when you have that new shift cable you're going to go ahead and take out the set screw that's behind here in some capacity and you're going to run it straight through here as long as it's in the lowest gear and you're going to kind of fish it through there. It might take you a couple tries and it's going to come out this other end over here and after you have that you can go ahead and pull this all the way through and that should seat inside there. You can always double check by shifting it and making sure that it goes in and out. After you have that, this uh, length of shift housing that you've already cut will end up on the end here. On both ends of the shift housing there are what we call a ferrule. Uh, they're normally metal or plastic. It's just a cap to keep the shift housing from extending beyond its casing. You're going to run this inside here and go around whichever side of the frame it needs to be on. In this instance, um, this one's going to line up with the back, so we're going to run it on the drive side of the bike here. It's going to go through here, and it's going to go underneath. Underneath here is a piece of plastic um, with a little slot in it. You're going to run it through that. Come all the way to the back, and I'm going to run it through this other piece of shift housing that I've already uh, determined the length for, and you're going to insert it inside here. It's going to come out the other end and go into these slots. In another video, we're going to show you how this uh, actually connects into the derailleur and how we're going to secure it and create shifting. 